Hey guys, this is Anna with Anna Travels back with another video. So as you know, I'm a part-time travel agent with Magical Moments Vacation. And so we got this room as on a travel agency discount. Um, and we are at four, I mean, sorry, we're at Wilderness Lodge club level. And I'm quite excited to be here this weekend. Um, it is a standard two queen bed room. And let's take a little tour. So this is the view you get when you come into the door. You have a closet here, and basic you know, luggage stand, hangers, extra bedding. Ooh, you get robes. Not bad robes, not the most luxurious, but not that bad. Nice and soft. What's in here? Oh, you got a steamer safe and then extra storage space and you got your little coffee stand little bambi artwork your ice cup i mean your ice bucket not your cup and then you got um just some paperwork um i think this is like uh what is it the mini golf the halloween activities for this week and oh the concierge hours because we're on club level we actually ate um, breakfast. We made it in time for breakfast. Very nice. I'll do some more videos um, just to show off club level later. We were just starved, so we just kind of ate. I didn't record anything. And a map. And they gave us two bars of chocolate. I don't know how well that shows up in the video, but it's branded Wilderness Lodge. And then, oh your coffee drawer we love this and whoops that kind of got hung up your cooler to put your drinks like I said there's two queen beds in this room there's actually very few king beds in the club level I guess they figure more families take advantage of club level and then this is your bathroom. Nice floor mat. That's usually something you don't see in a lot of hotels. A nice mirror. Double vanity. They still have HTO, H2O products for now. And then here's your bathroom. You got your toilet. Nice towels. You got your rain head shower. And then a little bath, so still good for kiddos. And then you got shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And a little ledge to put any of your toiletries. And then here's a totem. Artwork. So kind of moving into the living room area, you have your TV your drawer space so ample drawer space you got a little mini desk with chairs it's not really a desk like little tables then you have the artwork really cool if you haven't noticed wilderness lodge is kind of wilderness themed kind of like a club like a midwest you know rocky mountain type of feel to it. Oh, and I forgot to shut the door for the bathroom. You have the sliding door complete with a full length mirror, which is nice. And then, this is really cool. I like that. It doesn't show up, it shows up kind of light on the camera. And then the balcony. So we have a pretty decent view. If I can open the door. Ah, these child safety locks. So this is our view. So we have a view of the, like, I guess the cast members parking lot. But there's part of Wilderness Lodge. Looking more in the back of the Contemporary. Is that Bay, Bay Lake? 
I think that's Bay Lake. Space Mountain is right there. And you can kind, it's behind this tree, but there is the castle. So, I don't know if I can move. No, the tree is just more in the way. Uh, kind of right there, you can see the castle. So, I had actually requested like room 7050, which is a little bit further down to the right. I had a little bit more of a direct view of the castle, but you know what? This is still cool. I This, this side is awesome because the other side you just, I think you just get like the pool. I'm pretty sure it's the pool area. So yeah. So this is one of the resorts my husband's always wanted to stay at and when I saw the Disney rate, um, the travel agency rate for his birthday weekend, I grabbed it quick because I was like, you know what? You know, we need to celebrate him. Um, he's a great dude. Love him. And it's his birthday, so we're gonna have fun. I'll show you guys the concierge level, um, the club level food, um, probably the next few clips. They do five different servings, breakfast, um, kind of like a snack break, um, what do they call it? Hors d'oeuvres. I can never say that right like a cocktail hour and I think kind of, not dinner, but like, I think there's one other, oh, oh coffee and snack time, I guess. Uh, so showcase those and then um, maybe a little bit of the resort. Because uh, I kind of want to hit the pool. So we'll see, we'll see if what we get done. We want to go to Trader Sam's to try to get in, so we'll see what happens. But I'll let you know how the beds are. I'll let you know how the service is. Something that people don't really often, I've never heard anybody mention, and so I didn't know about it because I've never booked, I've never booked myself personally club level, and nobody's ever said this, but like, they started calling us and emailing us a week before. Like, so we got an email on Saturday or Sunday saying, hi, you know, we can't wait to see you. And then, do you have any special requests? And then, um, then we got a call yesterday you know, again, saying, hi, we're excited to see you, um, you know, do you have any special requests or dietary issues? And so it makes you just feel welcome that, and excited because, you know, Disney, Disney knows how to make people feel at home. So, all right, well, I'm going to go get to the pool. So I wanted to do some closing thoughts on what I thought about Wilderness Watch, especially the club level. Um, we had a fantastic time here. Um, Animal Kingdom was our favorite, well, was my favorite. I don't know about my husband's opinion, I haven't asked him, but you know, the animals at Animal Kingdom do do bring like a certain draw, but I don't know, Wilderness Lodge is growing on me a lot. It might be knocking Animal Kingdom out of the number one spot. Um, now we stay club level and 
bubble was nice. Like it, you know, we saved money on breakfast. Like we didn't do any character dining. I mean, sorry, we didn't do any um, Disney uh, sit-down breakfasts or even. Well, I did um, the. Uh, I went to Roaring Forks this morning just to get Mickey waffles. I don't know if you can ask them for Mickey waffles, but I didn't want to like. I didn't want to ask. So just went out Roaring Forks and got Mickey waffles this morning. Uh, but yeah, I mean. <laughs> That saves money if you, the espresso machine saved me a lot of money because I have to have my coffee and I love cappuccinos and espressos. So that itself like probably saved me a lot of money and time because the Starbucks lines are always super crazy and they had like a lot of flavors. So like you can make your own pumpkin spice latte. It might not be like Starbucks flavored, but you could still make it. And um, I, I love hazelnut, um, so they had the hazelnut, and so I made hazelnut cappuccinos like pretty much every single day and night. Um, and uh, the food was mostly good. Um, some dishes, like I don't really like a lot of stuff in my eggs, like I'm not a huge omelet person, so like yesterday's egg choice had like tomatoes, cauliflower, spinach in the eggs, and I just wasn't about that. Um, but, and then just today had turkey bacon. I'm like, oh, I don't like turkey bacon. But uh, give me good regular bacon. So, but for like the cocktail hour, we only got to do cocktail hour once because for the most part we were in the parks during, um, not cocktail hour, um, what they call it, hors d'oeuvre, the appetizer hour, you know, where they had like kind of hot meals. So um, we only got to see one night of that. Um, but we were here for cocktail hour twice, and it was nice. Last night we made B-52s, uh, because one of the other, one of this grandma, she's like, you should make a B-52, and I was like, that sounds perfect. Um, B-52s were my, sh my shot of choice in my 20s, and so it's been a while since I've had one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I highly recommend it. I, my husband's like, oh gosh, like how much are club levels normally? Because I got this on the travel agent discount. Like sometimes, like Disney, with the, when if you're a travel agent, it's pretty much just they toss up these rates on the travel agency whoops, like uh, Disney Travel Agent uh, dot com or whatever. I can't remember. I just hit D and then it pulls up on my <laughs> my bookmarks. But uh, yeah, and so like sometimes they offer club levels, sometimes they don't. It's just I think they just kind of release like random inventory for the travel agents. Um, so I think like I think roughly we paid like four seventy a night when normally this is like eight to nine hundred a night. Um, would it be worth it at that price? I think my husband was like, you know, I think this would have been better if we were here for a little bit longer trip. Not to say that it wasn't worth it, but he was like, I think it would just be nicer so we could enjoy a little bit, like space out our park days. Um, but yeah, no, uh, it's. This might be our last Disney trip for a while, a little Disney World trip, because um, Japan is Japan is one of the ultimate goals next year. It's been the ultimate goal for the past two, well, three years now, because I started planning back in 2019. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We might not be going to Disney World, but hopefully we'll be going to Tokyo Disney next year. So um, if I can make a short trip, because this, these trips, like, for me, are part enjoyable and then part business. Like, you know, I mean, I have actually have three quote requests waiting for me when I get home, which is what I need um, for the business. So, but anyways, I do highly recommend Wilderness. The Old Faithful Club was awesome. The cast members were all stunning and amazing, and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. So... And the beds, the beds, if you like Disney beds, they're, they're, they sleep well. Um, my back is okay with them. Um, I think it's just with queen beds, like, I need a little bit of space to serve for my husband. Um, but the king beds, like, I don't think they have too many king beds. So, um, that's why I didn't really push to get, and plus, I think the king beds are, like, on the opposite end, so you didn't really get a good view. But, I mean, we'll just take a look at this view again, because it's, this was worth it. <sighs> I'm going to miss this place. You see the rest of the castle. So, I'm going to sign off. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Like and subscribe and join me for future videos.